So uh, the redesign happened because it was actually proposed by Tanya, our current editor-in-chief, and she actually brought up, hey, when's the last time was the, pa was the paper um, redesigned? And it seemed like it was actually like 12 to 13 years ago, so she called she actually proposed like why don't we try like a tabloid format versus broadsheet which is the traditional newspaper format where you're usually reading the paper like like this long ways with the above the fold type thing broadsheet is you know a big wide newspaper one that you know your grandfather opens well with his breakfast in the morning and it's huge <laughs> like this um, and for a while the foghorn was even bigger than the chronicle like san francisco chronicle I mean, it was ginormous. So tabloid is a smaller, it's kind of the size of a magazine, a little bit bigger. Okay. So it's easy to flip through. You don't have to fold anything over. Mm -hmm. We heard a lot of feedback from students saying that they wished it was easier to mm -hmm. handle, to carry around. Mm -hmm. um, and we looked into a lot of research and all of it points to the fact that young people just like smaller, better. One of the concerns that we heard from readers was that because we were moving to tabloid format was our content going to be less professional or not as newsworthy because it's I mean in the in the name it's like tabloid but we're not a tabloid that's just the format that it's called um, and if anything I feel like our content has become like exponentially better compared to when we were on broadsheet. We can do our scene section which is our arts and entertainment section in color now which um, we couldn't before because it was more expensive. A big reason why we advocated for a for a colored spreadsheet for scene was specifically because I mean scene is sometimes we'll cover food or like fashion or performances with people. Uh, before we had a lot of like really sad black and white food in scene. <laughs> um, so that's been good. Also I think the photography has improved a lot in this format just because I don't know the placement's easier you know, working with a huge page is really difficult. It's a really, you know, small staff at a weekly newspaper, so. A broadsheet, since it was a little bit bigger, I was able to put in much longer stories and sometimes all the paper was just, you just see all words, it's all text. Yeah. Not so much a good weight or balance with um, visuals. Because the design is much cleaner. It allows for like a much effective uh, layout and um, it also pushes us to like take better photographs as well. Our advisor Teresa Moore um, called on the help from the design and interns at the Office of Communications and Marketing and we collaborated with them in a series of meetings and a lot of the meetings were about what, what's our brand, what do we want, what, are, what do we want to be for, the, for USF. So we tr really try to reinstate uh, really more like regular type like features. Um, there's a section called College News from Around the World. Um, so we have one of our editors, she'll compile like a lot of stories that happen at universities anywhere. And it, I think it's an interesting take because it allows students to also know like what's happening to other college students. So we just hired an audio editor and she'll be like having podcasts online, so there'll be a little blurb in the in the paper about it, and you can go online. So that'll redirect people to go to our website, because we also do have online content. We're trying to really connect with students as much as possible this semester. I mean, we've written a bunch of staff editorials about this, but we really want it to be a paper where you know good conversations and important conversations can be had. And we welcome any kind of feedback, questions, concerns, debates. If you want to write about your unpopular opinion, go ahead. Um, we really just want it to be a tool for the community.